Welcome back folks, my name's Shane. I just wanted to have a quick talk about how I fixed the audio drift issues with the A10 Mini and the A10 Mini Pro. So I'm just gonna fill you in on what happened. I had an A10 Mini Pro and I found I could only stream up to about 45 minutes through this webcam out via USB before the stream went out of sync. I watch a number of other YouTube channels who have this and the Pro and they have the same problem where eventually the audio goes out. Now I fixed it, I'm gonna give you the fix really quickly, so if you wanna go buy one of these, you can absolutely do it, but you have to go out over HDMI to a capture card. This is the Elgato HD60, which I've had for a long time. It's HD and it does the job with this, and I can stream up to four hours without the audio going out of sync. Now this is a completely separate issue to the analog inputs being out of sync with the HDMI inputs. That's been fixed. This would also happen, just to give you some perspective, right now, for example, I'm recording with my GH5, I've got my receiver on the camera hooked into the audio input, and I would run the HDMI out of that into this and stream, so it shouldn't go out of sync. That's the theory, and it was fine for 45, 50 minutes, right around the 60 minute mark, it would start to go out of sync, and it would progressively get worse to the point where the stream was unwatchable. It's pretty bad because I'm in it anyway, but especially if you're playing guitar, for example, on my main channel, it just, it's right out of sync and it, it's completely unusable. Additionally, I have four computers at the house here that all meet the requirements to capture video and audio through one of these Elgato HD60s. Two of them are my production computers for audio and video work. Now, when I try it with this, which uses less CPU re resources, this is where the problem happens. So it's got nothing to do with my computers. It has something to do with this USB output. Now, I'd love to hear from more people out there. I've seen that this is a big issue on the forums. I've also tried contacting Blackmagic twice about this, once for my previous unit, and now once for this, and I haven't gotten a reply, which doesn't fill me with confidence. I've also spoken to the place I bought this from. You know, it's like, yeah, here, contact Black, Ma Black Magic. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. But if you're having this exact same problem, you need one of these. This will pretty much sort you out. It doesn't have to be this brand. I'll leave a list of different capture cards that you can use that will get around this issue. But just know you're gonna have to go out of the HDMI output as opposed to using the webcam out to fix this problem. And that's why I downgraded to one of these. In the end, I felt like it was a smarter move saving some bucks if I was forced to go out over HDMI. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.